what's going on? Jack Scalfani here, it's Cooking with Jack Show. I hope everything's going well. I hope you guys are feeling fall coming on. I hope you're enjoying the end of the year. I hope everything's great. Um, so you guys know I've been doing that freeze drying stuff. And so now I'm at the stage where I'm going through my freezer, pulling meat out that I've got in there and freeze drying it so that I can get it out of the freezer, put it in a container. It'll be safe for 25 years and never have to worry about it. All right. So I found this and I'll, I'll show you what it is. Obviously, you can tell by the title. Uh, it's beef cheek, but it was in my freezer and just the next thing I pulled out. So come on in close. I'll show you what it looks like. We're going to cook it up. I found a great beef cheeks in red wine recipe that I'm dying to try. Let's find out if it's any good. If it is, well, either way, I'm going to have the recipe down below. Maybe if it's not good, you can make it better. But if it is good, I'll tell you and it'll be flawless. All right. And then today... Now, down below will be a slow cooker, a stove top, and a pressure cooker recipe. It'll all be broken down. You can do it either way. I'm doing pressure cooker because I got my Ninja Foodie. It'll only take like an hour. But if you want to cook it for six to eight hours and get it falling apart, you want to do it on the stove top, whatever. All right. Okay, guys. So we're going to put some oil in a hot pan. I heated the pan up. So now we're going to add some oil. We're going to sear all the beef cheeks. I got like six pieces of this. There we go. Still got the pan going, still kind of warm. The oil is a little bubbly. We seared all our meat, got the goodness at the bottom here. So now let's go get our onions, throw those in. Get our garlic, throw those in. We're basically going to saute these for a few minutes, about three minutes. That looks good. Take your carrots and your celery, get those in there. And you're going to saute for another three, three minutes. Let's get our meat. We'll put that on the bottom. Make sure we got it all in there. Look how beautiful that looks. That gorgeous. Look at that. Oh yeah. All that marble fatness gives it such flavor. It's all been seared. Dump our veggies in. Here's our salt, pepper, and thyme. I'm gonna sprinkle that around. Some bay leaves also in there. And then the liquid we need for our pressure cooker is the beef broth with the red wine. Okay, I'm gonna pour that in right now. So, just check the directions down below. Make sure your vent is closed, sealed. We're good. All right, one hour, we'll see you in one hour. This smells amazing already. There's a few things we gotta do. We gotta get the meat out of here, and we gotta get the bay leaves and the thyme little sprigs out. That's why I left them in whole pieces so we can easily pull them out. So hopefully we can find them when we open this up. Oh, that looks amazing. Now, pull your meat pieces out. There's one piece there. There's one piece there. Put the vegetables back in. If you pull vegetables out, try to place as much vegetables back into the mix. Okay, let me give you the details of what we're gonna do now. We've pulled all the meat pieces out on this plate. We dumped in a tray, covered it in foil. It's sitting there. It's not in any juice. It's just the meat is sitting covered. So that's off to the side. Now we're gonna take what's in here, the vegetables, and the wine and the broth or the stock, beef stock. And we're gonna take this and put and put it in a blender till smooth, creamy. We're gonna cream up all the vegetables, okay? Then we're gonna put it in a sauce pot. Once again, you can use an immersion blender if you want in this and just blend it. I'm gonna use my regular blender and then we're going to move it to a sauce pot and thicken it up as our gravy for the beef. 
You got that? So I got my stock pot right here. So let's work on that right now. Let's get the lid off. I got it all creamed and smoothed in my Vitamix blender. I'm gonna pour it into the pot now. Everything should be good. Get it all in there. Okay, this is the deal. You're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna reduce this about 25%. So I got it on a little medium flame. Gonna let that reduce for 25%. Yeah, that's good. Gonna get that on there just to get it simmering right away. Then I'm gonna pull this off so I can evaporate and let it thicken up, okay? 25%. Let it drop down about a fourth of what's in here. Okay, you're going to have to kind of eyeball it. But then you're going to use that gravy to pour on top of the meat. And the meat's nice and hot, all wrapped right now. It's all beautiful. Look at that. Can you see that? That looks beautiful. Came out delicious. So let's get a... Wow, this is... Take this piece of meat right here. Okay, and we'll go put some gravy on it. Ah, there you go. It's a little piece and a little bit of gravy. You can smell the wine and the beef stock together. It's a very interesting combination. Let's see how this breaks open. Oh, okay. Look at it. It just falls apart like a braised short rib or something. All right, guys, I got a little bit of keto um, bagel. So I'm gonna dab up some of that gravy, get a flavor. That's not bad, not bad. I probably should have reduced the gravy a little bit longer. So let it run a little bit longer, okay? You should get a really kind of a dark, kind of like the color of the meat, okay? But I got impatient. But this stuff is falling apart, unbelievable. Mmm. Tastes so good. Guys, you're going to have fun with this. You never had beef cheek? I never had beef cheek. I've had tongue. I've had brain. I had stomach lining. Sorry, I know some of you are grossed out. I've eaten every part of that cow. But now I'm on the cheek. And it literally, it cooked all that time and just got so tender. It's, it's probably the most tender meat. I've never paid like a hundred dollars for. Okay, this cost. I don't even remember how much it cost. Interesting, but it's out of my freezer now, so it's time to freeze dry this, pack it away. This is so good. I may not freeze dry it. Might have it for dinner tonight. All right, I love you guys. See you in the next episode. Bye bye.